Okay, before we do that, the next thing we do is get our master lines in. Your master lines are the most important. Now this is a, we call a checkering diamond. It's a three to one. It's three high to its base. We stick it on there like that. Line the lines up because we know it's going to go to the top, to the bottom. Put a point, second point. Okay. Mm -hmm. What we do then <coughs> is we take our piece of flexible tape. center point of the wax okay cut a line okay this one one master line <coughs> Same with the other one. There's your second master line. Okay, what we have to do is make sure where our, our moose is going to go. We can't do that until we've made one. This is a green mold material put out by Dell. Is it Dell Coring? Dell Coring. Really, really good stuff. It's cold cure, so you don't, you know, you don't have to worry about. Like you can make a, a mold from um, a wax with this stuff. And it, as you can, see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it really picks up beautiful detail. The only problem is with it is it, um, it's a twenty-four hour curing. You have to leave it for twenty-four hours. But other than that. And you have to really vacuum it to get all the air bubbles out. And as you can see, there's a few air bubbles left. But they don't affect the actual mold. Not put air in it. You've got to make sure you've got no air in the wax because when you pump it into the mold it will put the air bubbles in it. Okay, you've got to leave it pressurized for a few minutes to make sure you fill the mold up. Now I'm just marking it out on the butt plate prior to start to checker. Basically, mark that out. So, 
to the mask, we're going to take the carefully remove it because the image of the moose is quite delicate. Okay, there. Now after I've checkered it, then I cut it out. I don't cut it out before because um, the checkering goes, um, excuse me, checkering goes down and it's really difficult to line this up down here from up here if you, if you don't do it. And it also has to go in there and in there and those three points as well. Put the wax on and I'll put the moose on. You remember I'm going to mark the center of the item, mm -hmm. right there where the cross is, and right there, it would appear that'd be the best place to put them. Just by sure chance it worked out. So that's where we're going to do it. And we have to mark that. Now to screw this to the stock. I have to make special screws. They have to be um, like the slots have to go up and down, and the screws are what they call rose head screws. So you can't buy them. We well, can buy rose head screws, but the chance of you buying two rose head screws with the, the time it's tightened in the screws going that way you know up and down it's pretty remote so the only way to do it is to make them which is fairly simple it's not that difficult what I'm doing here is I'm sharpening the teeth Now you can only check her uphill. Why? I have no idea. But you can only check her uphill. You can't check her downhill or side, or otherwise you, your lines will go off. So the, the line that you're checkering has to be uphill and directly in front of you, regardless of the curve of everything. Okay? So we mark the... the master line a little deeper and you do have to be careful because wax is not the easiest thing to checker because it is so soft in comparison to wood now I'm going to have to move the light because you need the light to shine to cast a shadow which light, lights up the line. Like so. Now, now I can see the lines perfectly because it's leaving a, a shadow. I'm going to checker. We just cut the lines in rough. We don't try and cut them too deep. We just, when I say cut them in rough, we're not cutting them in rough per se. We're just cutting them to get all the spacing in that right. To give us a pattern to work on. Oh. 